How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we are back with another episode of the Zero to Hero. So in the last episode, we uh, mainly just talk about um, our squads and then um, because it's in a preseason and I mainly just touch a little bit of the transfer and then um, what um, we are expecting in this season. So um, if you haven't checked that um, episode out, please click on the card and if you're enjoying um, watching the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit smash that like button as well and then yeah, share it to all the friends that um, are interested in Football Manager because we are pushing towards 250 subscribers and I hopefully um, I can reach the milestone very very soon. I think, I believe it's like um, 10 subscribers away, yes. So hopefully we can achieve that very very soon. So um, anyways, let's just um, come back to um, the main point of this series. So um, let's have a look at the schedule. So um, in the last episode, I haven't really played um, any friendly game. So in a friendly game, 2-0 um, against um, Kuala Lumpur and then we actually won. And then after that, we lost against um, Belgrano. I believe this one is an um, Argentina Argentina um, team. Yes. Okay. So they are playing in um, Argentine second division. So we lost 2-5. Not really um, upset with that. And then we are back to the league. And then the first game... Um, in this season, we drew nil-nil against Sabah. It was a very, very close game. And then Yaya Torre actually made um, his debut in our... Um, yeah, um, for us. And then um, there's a couple more um, players like Raja Amin, um, Herve Kage, and then um, who else um, making their debut? Um, Fatzil as well. So yeah, Nil-nil, not really concerned about it because um, after that, we won 3-0 against Bahang and then we won 4-1 uh, against um, Tanganu and then we won 2-0 against Kedah and then we just won 2-1 against um, Felda United. So today, we are actually going into the Champions League group stage. Yes, very, very looking forward to that. And then, in fact, I'm just going to show you guys the um, Champions League group. So... Um, I believe in the last season we have Beijing and then we have um uh, sorry we don't have Beijing we have um Shanghai and then we have the um one of the top Korean league team and then we have another um if I'm not mistaken it's a Vietnamese team and then we won two games all two games against them so in this season we have Beijing um in our group and then Beijing um I think they are key player um Yu Yang no um I think. They do have some very, very good player. Yes, they have Fernando. Yes, I believe this Fernando played for... um, Yes, the one played for Shakhtar. So yeah, Fernando is here. And then um, they have um Jacob Italiano. Oh, 20 years old, Australian. Okay, so other than that, um, Jonathan Vieira. Yes, I remember this name, jo Jonathan Vieira. So yeah, they do have a couple of um very, very good players in their squad. And then um we have um Hichioji... T Tiger or Tigre, yeah, it's a Japanese team, and then um, yeah, because Japanese league is not in um FM, so that's why we can't really know their um attributes and stuff like that. And then we do have another team from the Philippines, it's called Kaya Football Club, and then they are our opponent today. So their key player is um Carly Mitchell, who um we can't check on his um attributes as well. So Yes, I would say this group is actually much more easier than the previous group. And hopefully, hopefully we can um we can finish top in the league. Yeah, I'm just hoping that. Because um in this series, our objective is just win three titles in within five seasons in the Malaysian League. And then in the AFC Champions League, we are just going to aim for a semi-final finish. Yes, I'm not going to set a target um, for myself to win the AFC Champions League because it is very, very difficult. However, it will be very, very good for us if we can finish in the semi-final um, within five seasons. So yes, 
back to the transfer uh, market, I actually sold someone to, um, let me just sort by date. Yes, so we actually sold Manso. Yes, Manso was a part of um, our team last season. However, you can see his attribute is actually not too bad for a Malaysian league. However, I'm just having too many players in the club right now. I'm just going to show you guys later. So um, we have sold him for 15k, which is which I'm very, very happy with that. And then Luis Crabera, um, who was a part of our squad and then was playing as a striker for um, a short period of amount of time. We actually sold him back to Argentina as well. So um, we actually sold him for 15.5k. Yes, um, that's not too bad as well. And then Matheus Lorenz, the guy that we bought this season, actually is now on loan at Trangano. Because um, yeah, once again, I have too many foreign players and I can't start every um, single one of them. So I have to get rid a little... Um, a bit of the players and then next season they'll come back hopefully they become stronger so um we actually sign um one more players no not raja i mean sorry not not sign one more players i think um he is joining us let me just check yes this one a new gen play um a korean new gen named um no jong soon yes um he will be coming um as our youngster and he's actually looking not too bad to be honest um I know 14 determination for me is a plus and then his physical accept um acceleration agility stamina and strength i think his natural fitness 15 is very good and then dribbling 11 first touch 14 however he need to work on his um, passing and technique so um as an advanced playmaker or even a central midfielder playing as a deep line playmaker or advanced playmaker i'm very happy to have him into our team so he's joining us on june 20th of June 2022 so um not too um long and not too soon as well so in terms of our current squad right now let me just show you guys this tactics tab because today we are going to play against Kaya in the AFC Champions League and if you can see right here there's a list let me just um change the camera so yeah if you can see right here there's a list of unregistered player yes and then we can only play um four foreign players. We only we can only register four foreign players in the AFC Champions League. So the four foreign players that I submitted is um Hervé Kage. Yes, brilliant um winger. And then of course our key player Gonzalo Crabera and then Yaya Torre. I actually submitted him into our team because he's now our captain in uh, JDT. So Yaya Torre, another player, and then the last player that we submitted is Ahmed Shahar Sharahili. Yes, because his physical is very, very good for a center back. He's fast, he's strong, so that's why I want him to play in the AFC Champions League rather than Ben Wallen. Um, where is Ben Wallen? Yes, Ben Wallen is another central defender. I, I mean, his attributes might be better than um Shah. Sha I can't remember his name. Um Sharahili. Yes, Sharahili. Ben Wallen's attributes might be better than Sharahili, but um his strength and jumping reach is not that good. However, Sharahili has got 12 jumping reach, 15 strength, 14 pace. So I think Sharahili will be a better choice in the AFC Champions League. So yeah, anyway, this will be our starting eleven um against Kaya. So um Safawi Rashid will be our um, striker and then Abdul Rashid will be our left winger and then Hervé Kage will be right winger and then in the midfield trio we'll be starting Krasniki, Yaya Torre and Abdul Rahman who has just recently signed a new contract with us. So um in the um two center back spot I'm going to start Fadzil and um Sharahili and then um Baru Hisham will be our right back and then left back will be Mohamed Inshak. So in the right back position, we do have Matthew Davis, who we can bring on um, in the half time because he's just not um, fit enough. So I'm not going to play him as a starting 11. And then we do have Raja Amin. So this guy, I remember in the last episode, we actually talked about this guy. So this guy is only um, 167 centimeter. It's very, very short for a center back. And then, um, but then his acceleration, his um, defending attributes is actually very good. But then four jumping rate is a big concern, which I am just going to play him and transform him into a defensive midfielder who can play as a halfback. So that's why we are um, putting him on the bench. If let's say some of uh, one of our center back is not playing well, we'll just bring Raja Amin on. Or even Abdul Rahman is not playing well, we can bring on Raja Amin as well. So yeah, I think I talked 
too much. So yes, right now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the game against Kaya. Alright, so we are just um, in the dressing room and I've just given my team talk. I'm just going to ask my boys to go all out today. And this will be our first um, AFC Champions League game in this season. And um, it's an away game as well. So um, I am actually not really I'm looking... I'm looking forward to it, but I'm actually not going to um, put too many expectations or set a high expectation for my team. A draw would be good, actually, to be honest. And what, what a great um, shot by um, Sa 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 Safawi Rasid right there. Safawi Rasid. I am keep on pronouncing um, his name wrongly. It's Sa Safawi Rasid, not Sawafi Rasid. Okay, it's Safawi Rasid. Let's just remember that. And then right now, I'm just going to encourage the boys and hopefully we can actually get one point. One point would be good because um, pretty sure Yaya Torre with the header, but that's unlucky. I mean, pretty sure we can actually, um, we are actually better than Kaya and um, Haji, Hachioji Tigre, I would say. But Beijing, yes, Beijing is a tough opponent. I mean, um, the club in um, CSL, the Chinese league is always a very, very tough one. So, yeah, I'm not, I think two games against Beijing is just going to lose. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But then, yeah, I think we will need to do better against um, Kaya as well as um, the Japanese team, Tiger. I'm just going to tell, um, call them Tiger instead of Tigre. Yeah, it's just very, very hard. So, Kage can't pass the ball in to cross Nikki. So, Safawi Rase just missed the target. I mean, on target, but then... um. That was an absolute sitter, I would say. And then, um, actually, I'm quite um, regret that. Okay, that's a good one. Come on, Kransniki. Bring the ball forward to Rossit. That's a good goal for us. Safari Rossit. Third goal of the season. Yes. Um, actually, I was going to say I'm quite regret that I did not put um, Simon, Simon Dedu into the AFC Champions League team because... In the league, he was smashing every team, every single team, left, right, and center. Oh my god, he's just too good in the Malaysian league. Yes, so um, hopefully Safawi Rasid could do uh the same job in the AFC Champions League. So what a good pass finding their striker right there. So Gurner, come on, just defend it well, and what a good defend from us. Good D, good D, come on, one nil up, seven shots, three on target with a 1.43 xg come on i'm just going to praise my boys right here you guys are playing very well so mohammed insak to abdul rashid abdul rashid holding up the ball pass it to yaya Toure. come on yaya Toure, show us what you can do <laughs> just a short pass to krasniki okay abdul rahman to rashid oh my god you should have put that into the back of the net Ah, oh, but that's fine. He's our local lad and we love him. Come on. Safawi. Safawi Rasid. <laughs> oh my god. So many attempts from Safawi Rasid, but he just can't put the ball into the back of the net. But we are 1 0 up, so we can't blame anyone right here, isn't it? So Kage. Krasniki with the shot. Oh my god. What a great goal. What a shot from Lin Lir Liridon Krasniki. I'm just bad at pronouncing name, but what a goal. Brilliant shoot, man. Krasniki just with a long ball. Oh my god. Skip that replay, and then now we are 2-0 up at Kaya's home turf. Come on, Krasniki. Good pass. Finding Ka Kage right there. Herve Kage, show us what you can do. Baru Hisham picked up the loose ball to Krasniki. Pass it to Yaya Tore to Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman pass it to Krasniki again. I actually love the way that we play. Come on, short and fast. Krasniki, pass it to Baru Hisham. Baru Hisham back to Krasniki. Abdul Rahman, Herve Kage with the crack, but ah, oh, he can't put the ball to the back of the net. Now we have 12 shots, 6 on target, 2.08 XG. That's very good. Okay, let's just go into the dressing room and then let's just pump face and say... Um, no, actually, let's just hands on hip and then say, um, no, I actually wanted to tell them to don't get complacent. Let's just point finger and then attackers, I'm just going to say there's a lot more to come. Yes, Safawi Rasid, you have been playing okay and I want to see more from you. All right, and then Kaya actually made three substitution straight away 
at the half time. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So later I might just bring off Yaya Toure. Let's just have a look at our sub. And maybe bring on Aslin. Yes. Aslin is actually quite sad to be honest. Because Aslin has been brilliant last season playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. However, in this season we actually switch a little bit um on the tactic side. So he don't really have a spot in the team right now because we have a deep line playmaker and an advanced playmaker. But his technical ability is actually not that good. So um, yeah, it's actually very hard. And in the training session, I am actually trying to play, to train him as an advanced um, playmaker right there. And what a good pass from Krasniki to Harvey, Kage, and then Krasniki to Kage, cross it in. Oh, Abdul Rase just can't find the ball back to the net. Okay, let's just sub off Yaya Toure for Aslin right there. And then actually, let's play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, you know. Why not, right? We are 2-0 up, and um, I'm confident enough that we can hold the lead right here. Long throw in, and Safawi Rasid! Oh! He can't reach the ball, but that's a good throw in from us. That's a good one from us. Come on, Kage with the corner, cross it in. It's an in-swinger, and no one got the ball. And Abdul Rashid picked up the loose ball. Abdul Rahama, long ball forward. But then no one is in the box waiting for the ball. Okay, let me just um tell my boys to demand more. Yes, 2-0 up, but we, sh we should demand more. Okay, here's a... Oh no, come on! Good defend. Good defend from defender. That's a good one. I, I wanted to keep a clean sheet right here so badly. Kage can't reach the ball. And Abdul Rah Azlin, not Abdul Rahman, sorry. Abdul Rahman is actually playing quite well today as a defensive midfielder, to be honest. And Talentino to Talarok. And what a long pass forward. And Fadzil and the goalkeeper just had a little bit of communication. And Shahis Waran picked up the loose ball. And here's a goal kick for us. I mean, not a goal kick. I mean, it's a drop kick from the um, goalkeeper. And Ramos to Santos. And long ball forward again. So, seems like they are just trying to hit a long ball forward. And then just pass it back. I mean, just find someone that run um, nicely at the um, front line. Oh, wow. Safawi Rashid. Come on. Cross it in. Oh, to Abdul Rashid. But he just can't find the target. But that's a good play from us. Safawi Rashid. Block shot again. And then Sharahili. Okay, the highlight just ended there. I'm actually very happy with our performance, man. Let's just go with a little bit positive mentality and see if we can just um, close the game right here with a 3-0 win. Krasniki. Barul Hisham, Krasniki again, Abdul Rahman tries a shot, good one on target, not going to um, blame him, that's a good one from us, 2-0, 86 minute, 87, 88 minute, come on, okay, let's just um, praise our boy one last time, okay, so here's the throw in for us, Fazil, oh, he can't find the target, but that's a good one from us, and full time whistle, we win the game 2-0 against Kaya Football Club, and I'm just going to point, actually, I'm just going to um, outstretch my arm and say a good win, boys, very, very well done, what an opening for us in the AFC Champions League, so let's just have a look at the um, group stage, so we won it 2-0, Beijing won, um, he... Hichoji Tigre for 2-0 um, as well. That's a good start for us. That's a good start. Very, very good start. I'm just going to send the assistant um, manager to the press conference and have a look at our schedule. So next game is an FA Cup. And then after that, we'll be facing um, the Japanese team. And then after that, Beijing, Kaya, Tigre, and then Beijing again. I think I'm just going to play all the game. And then let's come back to the game against Beijing right here. Hopefully this game will be the game that um the 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 game that we can qualify to the next round um in the Champions League. I'm very looking forward to that. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to end this episode right here. So if you are just watching the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football. So yeah, that's all from me today. What a good win against Kaya in the AFC Champions League, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.